Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Psychology course. Today we will be looking at stress responses. Stress responses. There are two main stress responses which our bodies are going to use in order to deal with the stressor. They are called the pituitary adrenal system and the sympathomedullary system. Both systems have different effects on the body which are both going to aim to deal with stress. The pituitary adrenal system. What you can see now on screen is the flowchart of the pituitary adrenal system. It begins by the fact that we sense a stressor and the higher brain centers in our body send a signal to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the part of the brain which is to deal with the fight or flight response. It then tells the hypothalamus to actually prepare for this fight or flight response. Then the hypothalamus decides to react against the stressor and it signals the pituitary gland to create adrenocorticotrophic hormones otherwise known as ACTH. The hormones are then released into the bloodstream and they are detected by the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex is then stimulated to release corticosteroids. These corticosteroids then help to deal with the stress. An example by how they deal with it is by releasing more glucose to give someone more energy to deal with the stress. Now we're going to look at the sympathomedullary system. Again, this is a flowchart to show how the sympathomedullary system works. It begins with the higher brain centers just like the pituitary adrenal system. We sense a stressor and the higher brain centers signal the hypothalamus, telling it to prepare for the flight or fight response. The hypothalamus decides to react against the stressor and signals the autonomic nervous system to arouse the body. Once aroused, the autonomic nervous system will then stimulate a gland called the adrenal medulla. The adrenal medulla is, has a job which will then release two hormones called adrenaline and noradrenaline into our bloodstream. These hormones are then going to increase in the case of adrenaline or decrease in the case of noradrenaline, the blood pressure and heart rate, which will either get us ready to combat the stress and react to it, or it could also get us to calm down and then be able to avoid the stress. Now, in the case of uh, noradrenaline, the whole system is called the parasympathomedullary system. But in this case, if it, we are increasing the blood rate, it's called, in the case of adrenaline, it will be called the sympathomedullary system. HPA versus SAM. Now, HPA is another way to call the pituitary adrenal system, and SAM is another way to name the sympathomedullary system. HPA is going to be used to combat long-term stress. However, SAM is used to combat short-term stress. The adrenal pituitary system is slower than SAM. This is because the sympathomedullary system communicates using electrical signals in the nerves. As we know, electrical signals in the nerves are going to travel much faster than anything else in the body, so as a result, it's much faster. Here are some questions on the stress responses. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to give yourself time. Whenever you're ready, hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right and accurately drew these flowcharts, be sure to check out the next video, which will be reacting to stress. Visit www.revisealevel.co.uk if you need any more help in your subjects, and comment down below if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again later.